Greetings, Mason Storm here. On today's episode, we're going to be making a mushroom meat pie. It's quite delicious, easy to make, economical, just fantastic. To begin with, I have a couple cloves of garlic, one carrot, one celery, one onion, one portobello mushroom, a package of beef, and some beef stock with a little bit of water added to it because I didn't quite have enough. And all of our vegetables are diced. To begin with, we get ourselves a nice, decent sized pot. We'll go for kind of a medium heat, a little bit lower than what I set it to there. And then we're gonna proceed to add all of our stuff into our pot. Now there's kind of two schools of thought when making this style of meat pie. You can kind of do the thing where you kind of brown your beef with a little bit of salt and pepper cook your vegetables at different times to try to get them all if in the same window of opportunity but that takes quite a bit of effort and the benefit of doing that isn't necessarily the greatest thing in the world either so this is option two which is you add everything together and then you just kind of slow cook it you kind of stew everything together so essentially what we're doing is we're making a beef mushroom stew that we're going to be using as the base for making our delicious meat pie and I think that's that's good that's fine that's acceptable that is fantastic now when it comes to cooking with this style it's very slow so your best bet to do this would be to throw everything in in the morning have your stovetop really low and just let it cook all day like like even like pre-simmer and that would probably get your best result but I didn't really have time for that I don't think most people do so I had a, the heat up a little bit higher so it's an hour and a half so rather than having to mess around with all these fancy things trying to get everything quite right I just stirred it every 10-15 minutes or so kept an eye on it and eventually it kind of cooked to the point that I wanted it to I know it looks pretty aggressive in here, but that's because it's all sped up. And once we're done with that, we can thicken it up. So I'm just going to add a little bit of flour to my mixture here. And that will really kind of give the, uh, well, instead of being beef stock, it'll be like a beef like slurry. It'll kind of give it that uh, rib sticking effect. So a little bit of flour goes a long way to creating a proper stew. You just add a little bit, stir it around, give it a couple minutes, see how it looks, and if it needs more, add more. If it's fine, great. But once you get that kind of stewing thing going on, then you're you're good to go. And now we can move on to our final assembly. So I just have my puff pastry here and my cast iron pan. My puff pastry is a little bit on the frozen side, so I'm just gonna toss in the microwave for a couple seconds. Probably a couple seconds too much, as you'll see in a second. And then we're just going to dump all of our pie stuff filling, our stewed beef and mushroom mixture into the cast iron pan. And then we can complete our final assembly. Now, if you wanted to, you could add a bunch of spices and seasonings to this, but there really is a lot of flavor with all the carrots, the celery, the onion, and it's just got a very uh, dynamic thing going on, but feel free. It's whatever you want to do, but I would kind of recommend trying it first before deciding what you want to add to it. I mean, salt and pepper, that's kind of a given. And then we can take our puff pastry here. Now that's kind of thawed a little bit. I guess the other thing to do would be to, anytime you're going to use puff pastry, just get it out ahead of time. And there we go. We kind of got our covering here. And seeing as it's kind of fallen apart, I don't think I could really cut off the edges and make something with it. So I'm just going to kind of roll it inside. Give a little bit more uh, breading than probably what's necessary, but it all works out okay. And of course, going to give it a little bit of an egg wash. That way you can get uh, a little bit more of a yellowy contour and color when I bake it in the oven. Which I think really uh, looks a little bit nicer than just baked puff and now I'm just gonna throw it in a preheated oven that's heated to 350 degrees 
give it about half an hour. Once the thing starts to kind of go golden brown on you, it's good to go. I probably could have left mine in another five, six minutes, but I was hungry. Well, that's the end of this one. I really enjoyed this meat pie. I thought it was quite delicious. The portobello and beef combination is just great. It's fantastic. It just blends together. This was designed to be delicious. So let me know in the comments below how you make your meat pies. And if you like my content, please like and subscribe. And until next time, stay awesome.